Hey you guys, it's Miss Alexander. Today we are going to be using number patterns while graphing, which means we're going to be using some formulas and stuff like this to plot our data. So let's go. This is stuff we know. Remember, X always is written first and it's the bottom number line. It's like you walking across the floor to an elevator. The Y coordinates written second. So remember it's an ABC order and it's the horizontal line that goes for a it's a horizontal number line that is vertical. So it's a vertical number line and it goes up and down like an elevator. By the way, remember all our X and Y's always start at zero at the, yes, you guys, the origin, great job. We're gonna go this one. Remember, we're just gonna practice plotting. I'm gonna take the circle and I need to go three and a half up to four. And then I do the star. I go to half to two and a half. Practice, practice, practice. It's nice when we know what we're doing and we practice to make sure we keep our skills strong. And that's all we are doing right here. So here we go. That's those, you'll finish the next four. We're going to expand our knowledge by generating numerical patterns with a given rule. Then plot the data on a coordinate plane. So let's go look. So here we have y equals x plus five, you guys. Now what's great about this is, I know, it's okay. We're, we're gonna take this two right here. Hold on, you guys. We're gonna take this two, you see it? And we're gonna put that two right over here where the x is. We're gonna put it there. So, oh, that does not look good at all. Let's try this again. There we go. We're gonna take this too, right here, and move it over here. So all we have to do is that. And we do two plus five, yes, the seven. And our ordered pair would be, yes, you guys, two, seven. I do the same thing with a five, okay? I'm gonna scribble right here, this five. Okay, we're, oh, let's change the color so we can see it. Let's do green. So this five, we're literally gonna write right over here, you guys. See it? So five plus five is, yes, 10, you guys. So here my corner pair is five, 10, good job. So again, I'm gonna quick erase all this because it's a lot of color. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the 11, see it? Or make it purple. Okay, and I'm gonna move my it right over here, you guys. I'm just gonna put it right here with the X's. So now I do 11 plus five. Yes, you guys, it is 16, great job. So right here, I do 11 sixteenths. Now here's the fun part. Once we find the pattern, and that's all we did was put these numbers in where the X is. So we had an addition problem to figure out what our Y is. Now it says plot the points connecting them with the line. They give us the points and the line. So what I'm gonna do is take my first point, go to two, and then go up to seven, because that's my first point. And then I'm gonna take the next one, go to five, and go up to 10. Next one, I'm gonna go to 11 and go all the way up to 16. Once I've got my points plotted, I take my arrow. Do you see this blue dot? Do you see it? 
click on that and it stretches it. And then I'm gonna take this blue dot and stretch it up so that it's at, pointed at this one. This is what you call a line. And this is the formula for our not line on how we got it. So ladies and gentlemen, it says name two more points on this line. So do you see how my line starts at two and it goes to 11? I need to pick two points in between two and 11 that isn't five because five's already done. So I'm gonna pick three. I'm gonna put my three there. I'm gonna put my three up here. So I get three plus five is, yes, you guys, it's eight. So if I go here to three and I come up, is my line crossing three, eight? Yeah. So now I've got to pick another number. Let's pick nine. So now I do nine plus five is, yes, you guys, 14. So I'm gonna go right over here to nine and come up. Is it on the 14? Yes, it is. So you could have picked any numbers. You could have picked three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, uh, 11, nine, 10, sorry, not 11. So let's go to one more page and see. This one says y equals x times four. Okay, so now we're multiplying. I'm gonna quick look at the other two just to show you guys. This is y equals x divided by two. That's kind of cool. And then x minus six. So you need to pay attention to the sign of what you're doing. I'm actually gonna do this one because it looks fun. So the first thing I do is I take this two and I put it in my x. Two divided by two is, yes, you guys, it's one. So my coordinate is two, one, my ordered pairs. So now I'm gonna do six divided by two. Yes, you guys are good at this. I love your multiplication and division facts. So it's six, three. Now I'm gonna put in 12, 12 divided by two. Yes, you guys, it is six. So my ordered pair is 12, six. So now I need to go plot. Here I go. I'm going to two and then one. Oh, that's good. Six, three. Six, three. And then 12, six. 12, six. Now remember, I got to take my line, blue line, blue dot. I can always adjust in a minute. And there you go. There's your line. Now I need to pick a number between two and 12 because I need to name two more points. Now here's the trick. I need to make sure I pick numbers between two and 12 that are even so I don't have this halfway point. You can do the halfway point if you want, but my suggestion is just stick with even numbers. So it looks like I have four, eight, and 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and do four. Four divided by two is, yes, two. And then let's do 10. 10 divided by two is, yes, you guys, five. Now, I'm gonna ask you guys to do the other two that I didn't do with the check for understanding. And remember while you're doing this to smile, giggle, and wiggle, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.